what's going on guys joe with omgrc.com so what we got going on is we got the red cat gen 8 and we're going to be doing Kermali upgrade so here's the part that we're going to be using so i'll put a link down in the description below if you guys want to get this for your gen 8 rig now uh tools that we're going to be using i'm using a 1.5 hex driver and a 2.0 hex driver here along with a nut driver to actually get the wheel off um, if you need to use grease or anything like that, which I'll be using a little bit of marine grease to uh, just kind of make sure things are lubricated more or less to keep the rust off. Um, so yeah, let's get this thing going. Right. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the hex adapter. It's just a 12 millimeter hex adapter that's on there. So this slides off of there. Along with the uh, 1.5 hex heads that are there, I'm gonna remove those looks to be about six of them that are here so I'll remove that one along with our steering linkage over here just using a 2.0 hex driver and then I think it's a 5.5 nut that's on there that I'll need to remove as well so I'm gonna go ahead and do that then we can get to the back side of that and um, get this thing all opened up all right so I did say about removing the wheel hex on here, which you don't need to do that. So I just left it on there because I was like, well, if I remove the case, it's all good. So I'm gonna go, now I can go ahead and slide this piece out. Obviously there's, there's a little piece that's in here, a grommet, whatnot. So you need to put that back in there because that just fell out of mine. So uh, it might happen with yours, which is this small little piece here. And it does have a flat head on one side of it. So this has to be shoved back in there with that flat head on that side. All right. Now we got that out, there are those three screws uh, that are on the back I do need to remove. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. All right, now that I removed that, I can just kind of wiggle that out of there. So we're good on that part of it. And we'll remove the bearing that's on there. I need to clean that up a little bit too. But now we can get to that little pin that's holding this all in. But we don't really need to do anything with this because we got a replacement, which is this part. And put that little insert in there along with our new piece here and also feed that pin right through it did i get it right don't think i did so that happens so we'll have to just kind of remove that make sure we get it all lined up here so we're not messing it up so i figured i'd do this on camera just to see how easy or difficult this can be on camera than me trying to see it and line it all up. All right, maybe I had it in there correctly before too. All right, so that's in there, we're good to go. I will put a little bit of grease in here, not too much because it'll be a dirt magnet, but I do wanna put a little bit in there just to kind of lubricate that in there. And then I'll lubricate just the shaft a little bit as well, just because if you run it through water, you don't want the water sitting into the shaft itself the housing and then it rusting out your part. So this will help with the using the marine grease in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Put a little marine grease on there. We'll get this thing slid back in there and we'll start reassembling. Before I get everything kind of dis back together, uh, inspect your bearings. It's a good time to do it. Uh, you know, if they're rusted or they don't, they're not smooth as far as when you roll them. So if they are seized up, you'll wanna go ahead and replace them now because you're just gonna stress your motor. Things aren't gonna work like they're supposed to. So a good time to do those inspections. All right. Now with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and slip this through. So get that kind of locked back in there. We'll put a little bit, like I said, I'll put a little bit of grease. I already kind of ran a little bit of marine grease just around the casing. So I wanna put this thing back through. So I'm gonna go ahead and, yes, slide that through there. Then I'll go ahead and put those three screws. Those are the 1.5s. So I'll put those in there get this thing reassembled on that. All right, now that I have those three screws installed, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of grease on here before I go ahead and slide this thing back in. Just double check and making sure I'm not forgetting anything before I go ahead and reinstall this, but just kind of work backwards anyhow. So like I said, I just have a little bit of grease here. I'm just gonna put a little bit on there. Again, I'm just kind of doing a little preventive maintenance just in case I do get a little bit of uh, water in there. This will kind of help uh, repel some of that water that does get inside. Again, you kind of use that your own, just small amount. But yeah, that'll, that'll work. We're gonna get this thing back in there because it's gonna actually kind of squeegee some of it off. Now, 
and you need to turn this just a little bit so that way it gets kind of, it'll you'll feel it kind of click in anyhow or fall into place so good and um, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of grease just on here too I used it before marine grease I feel like it works pretty well and it's not that expensive I think it's like 15 bucks and get a whole tube of it anyhow so I'm just kind of again I just have trying to apply some not a lot I mean it might look like a lot but it, a little bit goes a long way so yep just want to get it on there I might throw a little bit more just on in here I did kind of grease that up anyhow I just want to make sure things are greased like I said if it run through the water but let's go ahead we'll get this thing back on there and then we'll get our screws reinstalled on the top our 2.0s then our 1.5s around the front of it here so yep I'm going to do that right now all right guys got everything back together all the uh, six screws that hold on the case for the portal axle again with the steering here I think the uh, so the top one the bottom one and what I did just kind of let you guys know too I just compressed the suspension I was able to get my driver right through the top of it and then screw this thing down and then obviously from the bottom and then put my link steering linkage back together over here and everything's good to go so hopefully you found this video informative don't forget to like share subscribe all that good fun stuff and uh, definitely appreciate you guys and we'll catch you on the next video real soon and check out our website, omgrc.com. And again, the part that I did use, like I said, I'll put the link down in the description below for you guys, but there you go. So later guys, take care.